far to begin with, just as far as the tree. That's it. Tender. Back to you, get it back to you. Okay, no problem. That's it, gain that confidence. Don't throw it very far, look. It'll always come back to you, that's why I stand there. <laughs> back to you. Good girl, praise her. Throw it three foot. That's it, gain that confidence. Now she knows she can get to it with walking. Throw it again, not so far, but a little sender. So now use it and throw it into the corner, into more towards the bank, but further back. If a dog does go down here, it doesn't matter because it can get out of here, it thins out. Just it picks up speed there. Send up. Well done. Well done. And she's gaining the confidence because she's on the water and she's walking. This time you want to throw it sort of middle of that tree, just off the bank a bit more. You are too, much, too close on the bank. That's it. Now she's going to have to go in the deeper bit now. Look, watch. Build the confidence. There you go. Good girl. And as you increase it, she'll literally be in the, having to swim for it in a second. That's it. She's got to come to you. Say, come here. That's it. That's how I build up the confidence with a dog that's not 100% sure about the water. I just don't throw him in the deep end. Look at the confidence coming up. She's going out there quicker now. There's your confidence. Now throw it where the tree ends this way a little bit, look. Where it's nearly touching the water. You have to just stand in that. Now she'll go deep. But don't worry if she doesn't, because it's coming down. She's seeing the movement. The movement made her go out there and gain confidence. Well done. Because it's always coming back to you, she sees the movement and then gains the confidence. A little bit further. Nice. Now she's got to reach out for it, look, will she? There's your confidence coming. She's swimming. At that point there, she was nearly swimming. You're building it up in stages. Confidence breeds confidence. So this time, really give it a bit more welly. Or you can walk out there a bit and go a bit deeper, can't you? Keep going, keep going. That'll do. If you go in towards the bank, that's it, send her. This time, Keith, throw it a little bit further that way and it will be where she's swimming. No, you're not getting caught up, you will. <laughs> yes. Good girl, good girl. That's the praise I'd give her at that point there, because she's now going past that area that she wasn't willing to go at one point. Right, try and go 
Just that side a little bit. Yeah, so she goes just where the bottom, that's it now. Throw it there. Yeah, send her. She'll have to swim if she goes out there. It'll come back to you, the dummy will. Now she's swimming. Now she's swimming. Yeah. Now she's found the deep end. <laughs> well done. She swam then. And she got the confidence. She went for the moving target, see? She saw it, or she actually saw it. And again then, one more. Try and get it in that little bit of deeper bit. You don't need to send it out too far, so she can see it. You keep hitting the tree, send her. She's loving it. But it's not going, she's not going swimming if you throw it there. You've got to throw it a little bit further out. Yeah, not too far, because if it goes down there, you'll lose a dummy. You just got to, just miss those tree branches yeah. and throw it into that, where, where the trees come out lowest, look. It's, it's thicker there. The further you get it out, the, the deeper it is out there. That's, that's enough. I don't think it's thick there. You need it out there, look. Here it is. See, where, see it's coming out? Yeah, she's seen it. Now she's swimming, look. She's swimming. She's swimming. And she's, she's got the confidence because she knows she can go back to the bank for security lock. So she's stepping her out into it. <laughs> one yeah, one more. Lovely. Well done. Right, when you come out with her, just walk that way. There's no cars coming. Walk that way, and then you're going to dry her off before she goes back in. Just keep walking with her. She'll shake then. Dummy. That's the dummy you've used, and it's not heavy. No. If a young dog is like in the water and going and like a doggy paddle and there's all splashing everywhere give them a canvas dummy in there and the weight of the canvas dummy will pull the head down the legs down and then when it's doing the doggy paddle it'll go hang on i've got real good traction because yeah. when they're doing that they've got no traction for the first time she fell in at work she just she was doing yeah it that's it bit, but she actually yeah that's probably yeah. what's done it yeah. and so what she did there she gained confidence first she went on the bank yeah. then you then she will hang on i can walk out here then you start bunging it further and further back i can send my dogs down the weir but you've got to be able to push them back because your dummy will just keep going down the river. Yeah, yeah. But because you're pushing the dummy up there, it's always coming back to you. Yeah. It works. It works a treat mm. because of the shallowness there. But actually, out there, I, I've swam up there before with the dogs. Yeah. Go up there and swimming with the dogs, you know. Yeah. I'm a caveman, see. Right. If you just keep walking up the track here for a sec, so she can shake. But we don't want a car to come around that corner fast. You gotta get her back quick. Car coming. Quick, quick, quick. Back come to you. Here. Yeah. Come here. 